Hey guys, I'm back to do a little mini review and my thoughts on the Garnier BB Cream. This one is unopened, although I have used one and a half of a sample like this. This is just the one that hasn't been opened. Sorry, I had an itch on my nose. Um, overall, I do like this one. I do like this BB Cream. My complaint are the shades. There's only two shades. There's light medium and medium deep, I think. Either medium deep or medium dark, one of the two. So if you're not in that shade range, then, you know, you're pretty much out of luck. And I think this runs like $10, $11 or something, something crazy. So to me, I don't, if you don't fall in that shade range, I wouldn't risk trying to see if it would match it or not. I know that it has like the anti-acne thing in it and I think my one of my friends tried this and said that it was good for that so I can attest to the anti-acne thing but it is also not a traditional Asian BB cream if you guys know what I mean the Asian BB creams are more like kind of foundations Whereas the BB creams over here are more like tinted moisturizers. So really, if you have any kind of like acne scarring, any blemishes or anything, then you know it's not going to cover that. If you have just redness like I do, then it would cover that. But I just feel like it's one of those things where do you risk getting it with the shade range that you have that's available and risk it not covering enough or do you just skip out on it to me I feel like if I didn't fall in the shade ranges now I wouldn't risk the money because I do fall in the light medium shade I can see it being worth it it just it's a little too yellow for me, that is my only complaint, but I can kind of work that out with a powder. I don't necessarily have to not get it knowing that and say, oh, it's a little yellow for me. I can, if I have a powder on hand that work, I would do that. That's what I've been doing with this, so. I do think it's worth it. I feel like. Also, if you're a person where benzoyl peroxide works better for you for acne, I would not grab this for the sure fact that this is salicylic acid, not benzoyl peroxide. So, and I think my friend said that she's more with salicylic acid, so that's why it worked for her, I'm pretty sure. But... Anyway, I just wanted to give you guys my two cents on this. I know there was someone on Twitter that was, you know, kind of that sent me a tweet saying, hey, do reviews on, you know, makeup and hair and stuff. And if you're watching, then you know who you are. But, yeah, I don't use makeup that often. I'm more likely to do hair product reviews than makeup reviews, just being honest with you guys. But since I've used this a few times, I thought I would give you guys my two cents on this. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the review. If you have any questions dealing with the Garnier BB Cream, you can leave them down below. I'll try to get back to as many of you guys as I can. And I will talk to you guys again soon. Bye guys.